Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, Psychopathic one here. Um, I'm going to rant on a movie. Uh, me and my uncle got down at uh, Monster Mania. Um, the case is broken because I switched out the case from uh, a used Xbox game I got. But anyways, here it is. Platoon of the Dead. The disc is in really good condition, though. This movie sucks. <laughs> I'm into bad movies, uh, low-budget movies and whatever, but this movie plain out sucked. The acting was bad. The effects were terrible. The plot was non-existent. And I did not have fun with this movie. I'd much rather, if you're going to go uh, for a zombie film that involves uh, the army, go for Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead is probably my favorite zombie movie. Um, this film sucks. Yeah, I keep on saying that. Sorry for repeating myself. This actually got features. It got audio an audio commentary with the director and cinematographer, a behind-the-scenes featurette, a zombie house tour, Tough Tom's movie boot camp, and temp DVD trailers. Why does this get features? Why? And on the back, you've got a witch. A witch ends up appearing in this. Um, I barely remember this movie. I saw it once and I remember I did not like it. Me and my uncle made fun of this movie all the way through. Like, first off, you've got soldiers that have AK-47s and you can totally tell they're plastic toys. You can get at Walmart or any kind of toy store. And it shoots lasers out of it. And I'm going to try and make this review as short as possible. Um, and I'm like, oh, my brain hurts. Um, and the way it is, and they've got sergeant, corporal, and lieutenant wrong. I don't know much about the army, but I know there's a difference between corporal Lieutenant, Corporal, Lieutenant, General, and, uh, what did I just say? Uh, it will come to me probably after the video. Um, anyways, uh, they got that wrong. Um, and... They end up going into a house, and this is trying so hard to be like a mix of Day of the Dead and Night of the Living Dead. They're in a house, they're trying uh, to survive the zombie attack, and it says this takes place in the future, but I, it doesn't say what time in the movie. It doesn't say if it's 2025, it doesn't say if it's 20, 2037. It could be 30, uh, 62, whatever. It does not say, even on the back it says, uh, in the distant future man's greatest enemy is one another, as the flesh-eating undead wages war against the living, which is totally untrue. A marine platoon is ambushed during a mission, which is totally untrue, leaving only three soldiers alive to fend off the growing army of the living dead. Now that is true, there's three living. En route to their pickup point, they come across an abandoned house with three mysterious women hiding out inside. That's true. Um, if they can make it through the night, they're home free. Or so they think, because someone's hiding a dark secret that may alter the course of this gore 
drenched wool. Barely any gore in this, from what I remember. There probably wasn't any gore. And then you've got some zombie soldiers. Um, but they don't ambush them. Um, I don't even remember how the witch, uh, ends up coming, uh, there, but I know it's close to the end. They did have one cool effect with the shooting at the screen with the lasers. That could have been in 3D. Um, but I did not like this movie. I'll, um, what do I give it? I give it... A zero out of ten. Uh, I did not like this movie. It made my brain hurt. So anyways, this is Psychopathic One. Signing off. Peace.